my character is Charmaine Richardson O'Reilly and she is the ex-wife of Chad and the mum of Michaela. She's a woman who likes things her way and she doesn't forgive or forget. Her sexual preference is felines. I'm the daughter of Chad and Charmaine who are now divorced and my boyfriend is Jaden. Jaden is, um, as you'll come to find out, um, linked to, a, well, all of the characters in some way. I play Chad, who's a very friendly father of a very friendly family. Um, it was interesting working with a cat and the cat having to be my um, reasonably long-term lover because normally when you um, working opposite someone who you have that relationship with you play a few games and improv <clears throat> a few things to try and just you know get that sort of um, comfortableness with being close physically etc etc and um, this cat was very hard to get to know um, I discovered it was a very shy cat indeed and um, the cat actually had never really left its house before and it had to come on, on set, which is a different location, it was very, very shy. Um, it hid under tables and beds and etc, etc. Um, so we didn't work up an extremely close relationship. We had a cuddle at one point, that was, that was good, it was, was getting there. We had a day uh, where we were shooting at John's house, which you probably will see in a couple of the episodes and um, he had a few brothers around and they were quite young and we got there early in the morning and they were playing PlayStation and they kept coming upstairs and seeing what was going on. did not want to leave the room. He wanted to stay and watch the whole, whole, whole scene. I fucking hate you, Jaden! Get the fuck out of my life! Fuck! John's mum told me that uh, one of the younger brothers said, oh, she said the F word, don't give her any Milo. Uh, yeah, I think the hardest part to, um, to, to, to doing this project is kind of nailing the accent, um, having spent so much of my life in America. It's a new, new thing for me, so, so I, I mean, I, I spent a lot of time doing that and um, had a lot of um, help from, from friends. They're Aussies. We had to shoot the insemination scene where I go to a, um, a back shed, sort of a, a dungy shed and get it inseminated and it started to get really dark quite early. <laughs> and. Um, and we, we just, we didn't anticipate that it would get dark so early and so we didn't have any lights and so we asked, um, you know, at the person's house if they had a torch and they had a torch so we decided to use the torch and it really, you know, it worked out really well. Let me just try and find that, is that it? Yeah, that's, that's, that's it. It keeps moving. And Steve's like, yeah, that looks great and I just held it up and we used it for light and it worked in really well with my character. She would be coming late at night with a torch to get inseminated. The, the entire project was was really fantastic. Um, it, it was great, and um, you know when I when I heard that you know like Penny Hall and and um, and you know Nicole Roger you know um, were doing it, you know I thought yeah I had to jump on board. It's really funny. The moment I read it, I was like oh wow I didn't expect this because in the audition we we're only given a short little sequence and um, it turned out to be a five part series and I had no idea it was such a great script. Steve really knows what he what he wants and. Um, He's, he's quite, you know, he's quite direct, um, but at the same time, he allows the actors um, to, to really you know, express themselves. It's very reassuring because you know that because of that clear vision, the chances are higher of getting a good product. Well, it is called Tea Biscuits and Incest, so I'm sure there's lots more incest to come and lots more, um, you know, interrelationships. <laughs> There's more to Jaden than meets the eye. It's, yeah. they're, they're quite a complex family and really anything can happen.